This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing back a returning company. They were on my show actually a couple weeks ago. We're talking about Signet International Holdings, Inc. They trade on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol S. I-G-N. And a couple weeks ago, the CEO of the company was on our show. Now we have the president of the company on our show, Mr. Tom Donaldson. Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Briefly, just give us a little bit about statement, and then I want to get into the Q&A. Okay. Signet is a, Signet International Holdings is a holding company. We've been around since uh, 2007, and we have been fortunate enough to obtain control over uh, a few technological patents, uh, two of them being uh, owned by the owned and developed by the Florida International University, and we have obtained the rights to those patents. And another one is in the medical field. Uh, one that is producing the most interest right now in the market appears to be uh, our new battery, or not really a battery, it's a new energy saving device, which is used just like a battery, uh, which will instantly recharge, and when I say instant, I mean within five or ten seconds, uh, up to uh, right now we're working around the area of 12 volts. It can be much larger than that in all different sizes, uh, and we will have that ready, we're hoping, uh, possibly as early as 24 months from now to bring to market. Wow, so that product will be ready for market, and you'll be able to monetize that you're saying within 24 months? Well, we are hoping it's possibly as early as 24 months. It is, it's moving rather rapidly, uh, and if we sub- obtain a substantial amount of funding in time, we will be able to do that. How much will it cost, and where will it be made at? Uh, well, it'll be made in the United States initially. Uh, when you say cost, you mean cost to produce, cost to develop, or cost to buy one? Okay, well, well how about cost to produce and cost to buy one? Uh, cost to produce, it's initially going to be about $3 million Wow. Uh, from where we are right now. Uh, cost to buy one uh, is hasn't been decided upon at this particular point. Uh, it's going to be competitive with current existing batteries. So how large will it be compared to current batteries? I know that everybody's been getting into the zinc, the, the, the graphene, and everybody's got these super, uh, you know, silicon batteries ready to go. What's going to make yours so different? How, how are you going to make that so special? Well, number one, it will be lighter. We have, it'll be lighter. It will stay hold a charge longer. Uh, it can carry a larger charge. And and the, the, there are a few things that I can't really go into because of trade secrets. Understand, but it will be more than more than competitive, uh, and will be competitive price wise relative to the use of the battery. How heavy will it be? Can't tell you that. Okay. <laughs> Just a particular okay. point. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let me ask you this: for for your for your stock owners and and my listeners, can we see a demonstration of it now? Is there anywhere we can go and, and take a look at it? We're preparing to demonstrate the prototype of this battery to some investors uh, within the next uh, three months, uh, but it's, that particular demonstration is only going to be open to people to investors. And and are there limits uh, to what you can use this power for? No. Wow, that's that's a that was a quick, quick answer, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the fact. Anything that can be used for a battery today, we'll be able to use these for. And, and does it require any kind of modification on the device in order to use it? To some small extent, but no great modification. Well, let's talk about it. You know, possibly you can bring this product into the market space uh, in 24 months. By then, that's a long time. Is there anybody that has products uh, that are comparable to that or your competitors? are you? Will, will you be first to market? Uh, of course, our competitors are Tesla, Ford, Porsche, uh, just about everybody that, is, that uses a battery for their end product. Uh, are trying to develop this to market. Nobody uh, has anything like this, we don't believe, as close to market as we are. And we're talking about the nano uh, magnetic inner charge uh, technology that you guys are currently working on. Is that correct? Basic, bas- basically, that's it, yes. And, and how, how long will it take you to charge it? Uh, that's, 
let's say uh, take a, a regular, like your phone battery, all right? Uh, you, you plug it in and unplug it. We just charged it. And so do you guys do you guys plan on just manufacturing the battery or licensing out the technologies? What is your game plan? Well, at this particular point in time, uh, we had well, we're planning on manufacturing it ourselves, but given the amount of uh, capital required to do that, we of course would be open to uh, any kind of uh, licensing agreement that would be offered that we would be make money for our shareholders. Tom, before I let you go, does uh, Signet have any other new technologies uh, in the uh, the works and that you guys plan to bring to market anytime soon? We actually do. We're working on two other types of technology. One is a new method of de-icing airplanes. You know, when when it's freezing outside and you're going somewhere in a plane, they have to de-ice the plane Absolutely. before it can take off very often, which takes quite a bit of time. And we have also... Uh, developed by Florida International University's technical people, a uh, method of de-icing a plane that does it 477 times faster than current technology. Wow. <laughs> and also, there's one, one more little point I want to yeah, bring please. up before we run out of time, is uh, we're also developing something in the medical field, which will be the first thing we'll, we'll bring to market, it's the closest to being ready to come to market, uh, having to do with... Uh, uh, stopping the number of, or not stopping, but cutting down rap vastly on the number of ap- amputations that are done in this country uh, due to, uh, mostly due to diabetes. Uh, do you know that there are over 185,000 amputations done annually in the U.S. alone due to diabetes? And we have a different way of getting oxygen into the blood system, which is what causes the amputations to have to be done. We have a new d- device to be used during the operation, which will stop that from happening and get plenty of oxygen to the blood. Wow. We call it the con reap. Well, my guest today is uh, Tom Donaldson. He is the president of Signet International Holdings, Inc. You find him on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol S. I-G-N. In closing, Tom, is there anything that we didn't get a chance to mention that you would like to bring to the forefront here? I, uh, only that uh, Signet is been around for a long time and we're still there and we are going to uh, we believe we're going to be very profitable for our shareholders in the near future. Tom, I want to thank you for coming on the show. It's always a pleasure to have some sort of representation coming from your company. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Hopefully you you guys become a regular and uh, come on the show every 40 or 50 days and give us an update of what's going on over there. Sounds good to me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the state.